So I've just jumped out of the tractor here to have a bit of a look. Good opportunity. So on this is Manning wheat. So it's a winter wheat bread. It's the longest sort of wheat commercially available in Australia. Um, we generally try to put it in sort of in January, late January, early February to get us some early feed for our sheep. But um, we've seed treated this because a big risk with early sowing cereals is our yellow bag dwarf virus, which this variety has some tolerance to. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with it. So I'm just putting a broadleaf spray at the moment. I'll grab this bit of erodium and whatnot in here and um, top up my insecticide so it keeps it all running healthy. It's had uh, 80 kilos of a MAP urea blend at sowing and then another 80 kilos in the middle of March of urea. So I oh, had a bit of zinc also in that starter, so I'm pretty happy with nutritionally wise. She's doing pretty well and hope, yeah, shearing the first week of May, so the Shawnee's going here. That should do fairly well. Got a little bit of tipping here in the wheat. Just see it there. Speck. We had a couple of frosts there last week with some heavy wind. I think the wind dried her out and the frost sort of tipped it. It's no matter, it's not going to anything but um just interesting to see but overall yeah she's pretty happy a little bit dirty but nothing can't fix no grasses had secure underneath um let's hope for the barley grass silver grass rye grass obviously a bit of brown but we don't seem to see that here very often a little bit patchy here but it's amazing looking right here then you look up it's just rocks just there so it's a amazing landscape here the Monaro and very lucky to be here and but, uh, yeah, this paddock we're in is called the swamp. So just over there, where those willows are, it's quite wet and damp normally. And even in the middle of the drought, it's always got a green pick. It's very handy. So we've got this sneaky bugger. Bit of barley got through. We didn't actually clean our seed, which we probably should, but um, didn't get to it. But a uh, you know, neighbour harvested for us, and he obviously had a bit of barley lurking ahead of it, not very much there. See the odd plant through the through the paddock but not too bad the odd bit of canola which is <laughs> handy sheep tucker but MCPA will take that out unfortunately but, um, yeah. still in the same paddock sneaky couple of holes up there I wonder where they come from they know where the good tucker is part of hiding on the hill from the tractor I guess yeah the tractor here now the auto steer running which is very nice Sort of, I to open up your areas as you go, and then keep an eye on everything, it's fairly rocky and not always straight, but uh, yeah, makes life fairly a lot easier anyway. Sort of concentrate on what you're doing. So, out the back here. Slowly filling her in. It's just like sort of Filling the lines, really, to a point. She's doing a reasonable job, probably a little bit higher there. Oh, rocks, here we go. Turn her off. Whoa! Hey! Probably a bit fast there. Anywho, back into it. That's, uh, that's how she is. Poor old, no wonder the poor old boom doesn't survive very long. A little bit of rock. Da -dum. Da -dum. That's not too bad. But yeah, you can sow through most of it and hope to one day pick them up or flick, them, flick it over with a reefinator. We'll see how we go. Go and have a look at that in the next sort of couple months. Flick around this one here. Oh, come on. Lift her up. Back into the line. Yeah. She has been a good thing, the auto steer. It really has. So we've got mushies. If you look, follow them around. Round, 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 round. See the, there's a bit of, a bit of fan going on here. What do I say? It's a circle. So, mycelium, they, tend to form fungus, all that. 
tend to form in circles. So it's a bit of a ring. That's why it's happened here. It suggests to me there could be a few underlying issues here with nematodes and stuff as well, but that's okay. We're not going to worry about that here at the minute, but very cool. I wonder if you can sort of stand back and see it. So yeah, there she is. Goes right around there. Gee, it looks good up and down the rows as a tractor. One of the better autumns we've had in a long time. Very happy farmer at the moment. How good's the contrast though with the native country in the background? You've got the green to the uh, she's green enough over there too, don't worry. It's the tussock they've sprayed, but yeah, whew, very happy. There's those two rogues up on the hill there. Sneaky bastards. So we've just got our cedar here, our JPC 2000 agro drill. It's only old combine, 5.6 meters sewn with that we sowed all our pasture with. Had it passed in the paddock for the last week, so we got a chance to run it back to the shed. She uh, takes the whole road up, but uh, she does not a bad job. But um, could love an air cedar one day, but we'll get there. Um, and needs a bit of work. She went through some pretty gnarly stuff in the last couple of weeks, but we managed to get it all in. So. Pretty good result. 